is up guys it is the turtle girl welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel today we are going to be talking about the fish tank or actually not talking i'm gonna actually be showing you something for a change yes we're gonna be looking at the fish in the tank behind me they're actually already there so like don't try looking too hard at it. This is all pretty much filmed on my phone, so first of all, no no hate for the quality. But I also really quickly wanted to address quarantining your fish before you add them to the tank, because in this video, I did not actually quarantine them before I added them to my tank. And some of you might say that is not a good practice whatsoever. Some of you may not have even realized that quarantining is a thing. So I just very briefly wanted to talk about it before we get into it. Yeah, so basically, quarantining is when you take that fish that you get from a pet store and keep it in a separate tank away from all your established fish for, some people say, a couple weeks, most say a month or even two, just to make sure they don't have any diseases or anything that they could transfer to the fish that are in your established and existing tank. And a lot of people recommend that you do it so that you won't get your fish that you already have sick if the fish from the pet store had something that they were carrying. And so that's why you would do it, but the reason that I personally did not is first of all because there weren't a lot of fish in this tank to begin with, and if they do get sick it is possible to treat them. And also that the likelihood of that, I, I mean you can't say it'll never happen, but personally in my four years of fish keeping, I have yet to actually get fish sick because of getting new fish from the pet store, knock on wood. That's just been my experience and it won't be like that for everybody, but I just know the risks I'm taking going into it. And to be completely honest, because I'm keeping them with a turtle, I know that there is always the chance that they could be eaten and so I'm not super attached. Some of you might think that's insensitive um, and that's okay, I'm okay with that. Um, I do love fish and I love keeping fish, but to me, in this tank specifically, the turtle is the priority. So take it or leave it how it is. That's how I do it. If you wanna quarantine, do that. In fact, I think that's a great idea. Um, but yeah, that's why I didn't actually quarantine them this time around. But anyways, with all that being said, you guys wanna see the fish and you guys wanna see the turtle. So let's get on with it. All right, so I just got out of the pet store, just picked up my fish. First up, I just have this single female guppy. I don't know if you can see her in there very well. She's gonna go in the five gallon feeder tank, which I actually have not even shown you guys in like ages. So maybe I'll show you that. But she's just gonna go in the feeder tank with the hope that maybe she'll pop out babies. Honestly, I really don't know. She's only a buck and I thought she was kind of cute. So we took her home and then we also got seven Buenos Aires Tetras. I guarantee I said that wrong somehow but they're actually a very decent size like I don't know if you can see them very well but they are pretty big and also pretty healthy so I was really really happy with that and so there are seven of those in here they seemed pretty fast so I'm hoping they'll be able to stay away from the turtle and then finally we have what I went there to buy because you know when you go to the fish store you always end up with more than what you came for but this is what I actually went there to buy which is 10 zebra danios i wanted to get more to add to the school of five that we already had because i was noticing some like fin nipping aggression and i figured that by adding more could kind of like disperse that and just spread out that nipping but anyways that's everything that i got and i'll see you guys when we are adding them to the tank all right guys so here is the 75 gallon you can see it actually has a new background thank you jimmy for the tip about that translucent poster board i think it really looks better because it brightens up the tank even more and nemo actually pops out a little bit more because he has his dark shell and so it's no longer a black background but first things first before we can add the fish we gotta turn off the lights so we're gonna go ahead and do that don't mind the mess but here's my timer <laughs> There we go. All right, lights are now off. I'm also gonna feed the fish some food while I put the bags in for floating. All right, so zebra danios are gonna be floating in here. So you can see that Nemo here is kind of harassing the fish in the bag. So usually what I do is I actually slide this piece of tile that's over here in his basking area to cover the exit. And then when he swims over here, cause see, look, he's harassing them. Stop it. Stop it, you can't. Leave them alone, come over here. Turtle, bite my finger. Bite my finger, leave them alone. I will just grab him and keep him up here in the basking area just until these fish are released so that he's not completely harassing them. So anyways, he is up there and we'll go ahead and add the bag of Buenos Aires Tetras so that they can temperature acclimate. We've got bag numeral tuno here with the seven Buenos Aires. And those are gonna be floated for a while as well. 
All right, and then over here we have the feeder tank. You can see that there's some white cloud minnows that I'm growing out in here because they are super small, like they are tiny, tiny, but they grow quite a bit bigger once they're grown out. And so this is the tank that our little guppy gal is gonna be going in. She's really cute. We're gonna go ahead and leave her in here to go floating in here. And we'll come back and check in on her in a little bit as well, so. And you can see all the little white clouds. I did actually recently take the rim off of this tank because it was just, I don't know, I felt like I wanted to try something new. So this is the feeder tank. There's a bunch of java moss just going crazy. Pothos and Anubius. I don't think a lot of you have actually seen this tank because it's been a while. There's also some ram's horn snails and stuff that are growing in here that I occasionally feed to the turtles. So yeah, that's that. We'll go ahead and let her settle in. 20 minutes later. All right guys, so it has been a few minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add the fish. They've been floating and are now acclimated to the temperature. So let's go ahead and grab these out of the water. All right, so basically we're just gonna plop and drop these into the tank. So first up, we've got the zebra danios. All right, I'm gonna pour them in here. It's extremely difficult to do with homey sewing hands, but we're really gonna make it work. All right, so everybody's out of the bag. And now they're all zipping around in there. Look at them go. Here comes the next group. Gonna get in there, buddy. And here are the Buenos Aires. There he goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the lights off for now. I'll probably turn them on in about five minutes. All right, now, now we are gonna go ahead and release this little guppy girl into here. And now she's in. And it looks like she will get along just fine with the minnows, so. Cool. All right, so the lights are now back on. You can see that the zebra daniels are just absolutely going crazy, doing awesome. There's the convicts. And the Buenos Aires tetras are kind of just hiding around. But here comes the moment of truth where we see whether or not this is going to work. We're gonna release the beast and see how he reacts to these new additions. Really, I'm just concerned about the Buenos Aires tetras. Obviously, these zebra daniels are just spazzy little things so come on Nemo I will free you Whee. okay you can go down now or just stay in the basking area if you so choose come on let's see what you think Whee. and here comes the top tier predator so he sees, usually he chases them, but he never really catches them. So we'll see what he does. I mean, right now it looks like he just wants to eat me. You just want to eat me? And here come the Tetras out of their hiding spot. They look great. I'm sure they'll color up a little bit more once they're less scared, but look at those red fins. And a decent size too, which is nice. If they do do well throughout the night, I might just go back for more. Oh, this guy's a straggler. Find your school, buddy. And so far, he is just ignoring them. So that's a pretty good sign. We'll see what happens over the next few hours and how he reacts to them. Oh, and he has seen them. Here he goes. Will he attempt to chase all his newfound friends? Oh, and there he goes after the tetras. What will he do? Will he catch them? Or is he too slow? Oh! He's definitely on the prowl, but we'll see if he realizes that he'll be unsuccessful. Here he goes. Oh, 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 he's going after the school. Look at them. Oh, he's trying to single this one out, poor guy. They seem pretty active and alert. I don't know what it'll look like at nighttime though. And he's back to chasing me. All 
All right, let's do some feeding and see what happens. These guys are going crazy. So it's a couple days later. I figured I'd give you guys an update on all the fish and how they're doing. You can see we've got all the zebra danios and the Buenos Aires tetras. So far, everyone is doing pretty well, although I counted the Buenos Aires and I think that we may have lost a couple. I started with 14 and I think I can only count 11 or 12, but honestly, they all move kind of fast, so I'm really not totally sure. But they're all looking really, really good. And oh, Rocky, you little sucker! Oh, I hate. No! No! What do you do? This is what I get for not paying attention for two seconds. What do you do? <laughs> he ate my fish food! You sucker! Eat out. Guys, this is why you don't leave your fish food out. I was trying to be smart so I wouldn't have to open this with one hand. And I told the dog to go to the other room. But then he came over here and found it. Anyway! Anyway, the tank is looking really, really good. I'm really happy with all the fish. The zebra danias look great. The tetras look great. And sometimes they school a little bit tighter. But anyways, I thought we'd feed them because that's always fun. So let's go ahead and do that. Look at them. They go crazy. So that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me add all the new fish to the turtle tank. Um, it's really, really enjoyable for me to see how they're all doing, all of them swimming around with the turtle. So far, so good. So if you guys enjoyed it, feel free to drop a thumbs up down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day. Bye-bye.